Hi everyone, special to Mr. Ronel Brian Tiberio. I'm Hippolyta Jasmine Duarte. And I'm Jerome Hippolyto. And for today's video, we will find the mean, standard deviation, and we will construct a bell curve using the survey that we gathered that is about how many hours do students spend in social media. So, let's start. Here are the results from the survey that we made. 1 to 3 hours, there are 3 respondents. 4 to 6 hours, there are 13 respondents. 7 to 9 hours, there are 3 respondents. 10 to 12 hours, there are 9 respondents. And 13 to 15 hours, there are 2 respondents. And now, let's get the mean, standard deviation, and construct a bell curve. First, let's create a 6 column. The first column is the mid values of group data which will be our X. The second column is the frequency. Third column is a frequency multiplied by our X. Fourth column is X minus the mean. Fifth column is we will square the answer in fourth column. And the last column is we will multiply the frequency to our fifth column. In the first column, we have 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14, which are the mid values of group data. Next is frequency. We have 2, 9, 3, 13, and 3. Then the total of frequency is 30. Third column, we will multiply the frequency and x. So we have 4, 45, 24, 143, and 42. Get the total, so we have 258. To get the answers in fourth column, let's get the mean first. So to get the mean, we will use this formula. Population mean equals summation of f of x over n. And then substitute, so we have 258 for the numerator and 30 for our denominator. So 258 divided 30 is 8.6. And now that we have the mean, we can answer now our fourth column. Let's subtract x and mean. So we have negative 6.6, negative 3.6, negative 0.6, 2.4, and 5.4. For the fifth column, let's just square our answers from the fourth column. So we have 43.56. 12.96, 0.36, 5.76, and lastly, 29.16. For the last column, we will multiply the frequency to the answers from our fifth column. So we have 87.12, 116.64, 1.08, 74.15, 78.15, and 87.48. Let's add them to get the total, so we have 367.2. To get the standard deviation, let's use this formula. Population standard deviation is equal to the square root of summation of f times the quantity of x minus population mean raised to 2 over n. And then substitute, so we have the square root of 367.2 over 30 is equal to 3.5. So our standard deviation is 3.5. And now that we have the mean 8.6, let's round it up so it will become 9. Then the standard deviation which is 3.5, let's also round it up so our new standard deviation is 4. Now let's construct a bell curve. We are going to find the value that corresponds to x equals 13 using the formula z equals x minus population mean over population standard deviation. And now let's substitute our given. So we have 13 minus 9 over 4. And 13 minus 9 over 4 is 4 over 4 or 1. And that explains that the value that corresponds to 13 is 1. From the diagram, we see that a x equals 13 corresponds to z equals 1 and above the mean. Hence, we can say that with respect to the mean, the time of 13 hours is above average.